Okay, welcome to lesson 8.1. Uh, today's lesson is all about uh, graphing and uh, how to place points on a coordinate grid. Okay, so uh, if you were to take a horizontal and vertical number line uh, and put them together, uh, they would make something called a coordinate grid. And this is just the typical um, the graph paper grid that you're used to seeing. This is also called a famous uh, French philosopher and mathematician, René Descartes. So um, the vertical lines uh, that we draw, we call that the y-axis. The vertical number line is the y-axis. And the horizontal number line is called the x-axis. Okay, uh, the point where those two things meet, where they come together, we call that the origin. And the coordinates of the origin are 0, comma, 0. So we'll talk more about coordinates in a second. All right, so uh, it says construct a coordinate grid on the plane below, and then it looks like we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to label a few points. So to draw our grid, uh, we're just going to use a ruler and draw a straight line somewhere down the middle here, okay? And this vertical line, this will be my y-axis. I'm just going to label it with a little y. And then running through the middle of my grid paper, somewhere maybe right here is going to be my x-axis. I'm just going to label that with a little x right there. Now, um, different different grids, different coordinate planes can have different scales. For our coordinate plane, we're just going to go where each box is, uh, is worth 1. So for example, uh, this would just be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. I don't have to label them all. Uh, and then going upwards would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, etc. Which means this this central point right in the middle here, this is the origin that we were talking about. This is that zero point. So I might put a little zero there just to remind me. So the question is what happens when we go to the left? What happens when we go down? Well if this is a number line going left and right, then to the left of the origin would just be negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on. And going down the number line would be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative 4, negative 5, etc. Okay, so we need to label uh, the following points over here. First point we're looking for is point A, which is uh, 5, 6. So um, you might remember that the first data point that they give you inside the brackets there, that is your x-coordinate. And the second data point is the y. So we always, uh, we always write this sort of x comma y, the first point being the x, the second point being the y. So if we're looking for the point 5, 6 on my number line, uh, one way to do that would be to start at the origin and just move kind of move 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces to the right along the number line. So I've reached my x coordinate which is equal to 5. And that corresponds to this right here. If I have to find my y coordinate of 6, then I would just have to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here's my data point. I'm just going to label that A. And in brackets, maybe I'll put the actual coordinates, which is 5, comma, 6. So you can see that we line up with x, where x is equal to 5. We also line up where y is equal to 6. Okay, so these are the data points here. Just get these down. So uh, B, I have to do negative 3 and then 4. So remember that this is my x coordinate and there's my y. So negative 3 in the x, I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3 spots in the negative along the x. And then I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 spots in the positive along the y. So this is my point B, which I'm going to label negative 3, comma 4. My next point I need to do is negative 7, negative 3. So I'll go negative 3 spots in the x direction first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then negative 3 in the y direction, which means down. So 1, 2, 3. And here's point C, negative 7, negative 3. And then the last point there, D, I need to go 4 in the x direction and then negative 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4 in the positive x direction. 
1, 2 in the negative y direction. And there's my point D, 4, comma, negative 2. All right. So uh, the last thing to recognize is that uh, a coordinate grid is actually divided into four parts. You can see we've got four kind of areas that we deal with. Uh, we call these quadrants. Uh, the first quadrant is on the top right-hand corner. So that corresponds to this spot right here. This is quadrant one. Quadrant number one. And then we just order them, uh, kind of go counterclockwise around in a circle. So that means that over here, this is quadrant two. Down here in the bottom, this is quadrant three. And over here, we've got quadrant four. Okay, that's it for lesson 8.1.